Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Kali NASA helmet, which is new for 2011. I have sitting in front of me the NASA carbon fiber, which is the $369 model. There's also a non-carbon fiber, which is a fiberglass shell at $269. that comes in solids, comes in graphics. This is the carbon fiber in the Liberty graphic. Now, the three things that you really need to know about the Kali helmet, why we like it here at Revzilla, is it uses a new style energy management system. It's a proprietary knowledge or a proprietary technology called Composite Fusion Plus, which I'm going to get into, the, into in a second. We think it has a unique style. It's a well-designed helmet. I spent a good amount of time riding in it. I felt that it was very well balanced. Here, the carbon fiber version is three pounds, 1.8 ounces, so it's extremely lightweight. And then at the carbon fiber level, you're talking 369. It's the only carbon fiber helmet we have at Revzilla right now that's under $400. So it's a ton of bang for the buck. I found the fit pattern on the NASA to be a medium oval. Um, I'm an intermediate oval. I wear a medium in showy, medium in awry, medium in bell. This guy at the NASA was a spot on medium for me. Um, it felt very comfortably, it was snug, I didn't have any hot spots. So it's gonna be your intermediate oval that you see some, from so many people right now in the helmet world. The other thing that I love about this helmet is that it comes with two styles of cheek pads. It comes with a comfort cheek pad and then a, they're both dual density and then a dual density, more of a race or snug fit, a larger cheek pad if you want to home in or really tune the way the inside fits. So the first thing I want to start out with here as we're looking at this helmet, and again, this is the carbon fiber version, I want to talk about Composite Fusion Plus technology, which is proprietary to Kali. What it is, it's a, it's a two-fold technology. The first was composite fusion, which they've done in their previous helmet, which means that the EPS liner is actually bonded through injection molded uh, injection molding to the actual shell of the helmet. So you have to remember a shell, a helmet is an energy management system. When you have an impact, it's going to try to disperse and absorb as much of that energy as it can. It starts with the outer shell, it transfers it to the EPS liner, which is the hard foam dense liner that sits on the inside, and then you have the comfort liner, which is on top of that, that actually touches your head, touches, your, touches the outside of, of your body. So the EPS liner in this guy is bonded to the shell. It's not just glued to the shell. And what that does is it's not going to break away or move over time, even, even having this helmet for a very long time. It's really bonded at a molecular level. But the other nice piece is that when there is an impact, it immediately transfers that energy directly to the EPS liner to start to disperse that. If there was even that gap of it being two pieces that are bonded together, you have, you have a, a secondary shock there. It might be minute, but in the, in the nuance or the grand scheme of managing energy, Having, having even any energy savings there or any extra performance is really going to save the amount of energy that's transferred to your head and really the potential for damage to be done to your, to your head, to your brain. The other piece with Composite Fusion Plus, I'm going to bring this guy over here, and I promise there's, there's no legion of doom. What you have to remember is it's not this way. When you have this helmet on, there's, there's no cone technology that's actually touching you. But what you have here is the EPS liner, the Composite, composite Fusion Plus, is dual density. You have a softer density foam that has this cone te head technology that then is molded with a higher density foam. And then the top of the higher density foam is actually going to be bonded to the helmet. So what you have is an, the impact cone it's immediately transferred to the higher density foam which fills in all the gaps and then with this lower density foam it's going to absorb and disperse energy laterally along these cones and with the cones that stick up they create higher surface area to absorb and transfer that energy evenly so this is a proprietary technology the composite fusion plus is the cone head technology they have some really smart guys at Kali that really wanted to enter this market and say at the end of the day, a helmet is meant to protect you. How can we innovate and create new technology that's going to evenly and more, and, and more um, efficiently manage the impact and the shock that gets transferred to your head? So that's the cone head technology, the Composite Fusion Plus, um, and it's in the NASA helmet and the NASA carbon fiber, which I have in front of me here. Moving on from there, it's a lot of sport bike elements that go into a helmet that are going to be the things that you see from other manufacturers that guys are going to ask for. So we have a quick release face shield system. So it's, it's very akin to what we've seen in other places. It comes off very easily. You put it in like that, you pull it down, and bang, 
you're done. It's that simple. You have you know, the ability for smoked and mirrored shields here. Kalia is uh, releasing some new things as we go into 2011. You know, I found when I was riding in it that the eye port was adequate. It was, and when I say adequate, I don't mean that as average. I found that it was solid for a sport bike helmet in the three quarter and the tuck position. I actually spent a good hour or so yesterday just ripping around on this Ducati next to me, you know, at the three quarter in the tuck, 100 plus miles an hour, just really to see what it would sound like, see how it would feel at speed. I felt that it was reasonable, reasonably aerodynamic at speed. And then just like any sport helmet, you get a little whistling and extreme head checks. But I thought from a straight on in the, in the long distance or the, in the riding position that uh, I felt that it was reasonable or average when it come to, came to the noise level. From a ventilation standpoint here on the front, you have two scoops and they're, they are controlled by an inside adjuster, which is actually very easy to use with the glove on. Moving back, you're going to have a, a active vent here on the top that has two settings. So it's closed halfway and all the way open on the top, a big chimney up, up here. And then on the back, you're gonna have four passive Venturi vents. You can notice the great detail with the carbon fiber here. You're gonna have two winglets that are gonna that are going to create this area at high speed. You have low pressure behind the helmet. Anytime air goes over a sphere, it creates low pressure behind it. And what you're going to have is, is this vacuum that's going to pull hot air out from the two winglets. And then it's also going to pull from the two um, Venturi vents here on the top, on the back of the helmet. I did mention earlier, it's DOT, it's ECE. You can take this guy on the track. If we flip this guy, you have a removable breath guard here on top. Move to the side, I'm actually going to flip this guy upside down. Everything is removable, everything is washable. I talked about the dual compound cheek pads or dual density. Two sets of cheek pads come with each helmet and I'll show you what it's like to remove these guys. And you notice that the cheek pad is actually integrated with the neck roll system and it all comes out, it's one piece. So antimicrobial wicking comfort, pull this other side out here. Really pretty easy. A nice finishing touches, nice style to this. I was impressed with the fit. I thought it fit well for an intermediate oval as, it's, as it is designed. So here, I'm gonna pull out the uh, comfort liner here. Very quick and easy. So I always look for that too, even with how it connects in the front, how easy it is to get out because if you're sweating, if it's the summertime, if you're at a restaurant, how quickly can I pull this out and run it under the sink and let it sit and how quickly will it dry? So great properties there. Notice they spent some time on the detail. It's just well designed, well thought out. You have the Kali logo in there and you have some areas for venting up top. So your vents are gonna vent to your head. And notice here's the EPS which you can see that is going to be molded, again, composite fusion directly to the shell, and then it's dual density. If you can come in here to actually really tightly, you can see where that second layer is. So it's an interior layer, which is a, a lower density, which is a little softer, a little more forgiving, but again, built for extreme high impact. And then the outer density, which is more dense, which is a little harder, that's actually bonded to the shell. And having it done that way is going to give you the best ability to manage that energy and not get a concussion or not get hurt even more than that. As far as in and out, I felt the, uh, the oval was fair. It was, it was easy to get on and off my head. Again, at 369, I'm most impressed with the carbon fiber at three pounds, 1.8 ounces. And at 269, if the style jumps out at you, it's a well-designed, well-finished helmet um, for the everyday sport bike rider. If you had one helmet, this could certainly be your only helmet that you're ripping around on. If you have any questions about the Kali Naza, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks, we'll ship it for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us, we'll send you a size exchange for free. If you just don't like it, make sure that it's unworn in new condition, send it back to us. Never restock here at, here at RevZilla.com. We're going to give you 100% back to your card. And as always, anything over 100 bucks, you can earn TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. This is the Cali NASA and NASA carbon fiber helmet available in solids and graphics available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.